Hey guys, it's Alex here, and today I've got another tutorial for you. And this time it's going to be a Cinema 4D tutorial. And I've got a lot of requests for actually how I made the text in my info promo right at the start here. So if you just take a quick look. So what I'm going to be showing you how to do is just here, if I can tr I'll try and get it, stop it on the point. But basically, where, where it comes in here, how it all the tech the little different letters are individually rotated and they fly in and um, also I will show you another technique which uh, I found a little another effect out that I think looks quite cool so I'll just show you that as a bit of a bonus um, now this is very simple it's trust me when you when you see it it's really not that hard at all but for someone who's new to Cinema 4D they might not be aware of all the different tools that you can use but so let's, let's start so we're going to Cinema 4D and I've already opened up and I'm just going to make some simple 3D text and we can just go MoGraph and then click Mo Text and I'll just type and you can just type down here in this section whatever you want I'll type Revos and I'm just going to put it up to about 75 and to make it look a bit better you can always add some fillet caps like that and I'll just give it a bevel on the edge I'm just going to align this in the middle. So we have our basic 3D text here. I mean, you can always change the font, but uh, there's no really need to bother. Um, and the first one I'm going to show you is what I used in the promo. And it's just a random effector. So we're going to make a random effector. So we'll make sure your text is uh, selected. We're going to go to MoGraph, Effectors, oh, Effectors and then a random effector. Now you can see that it randomizes them at first but if we go to our parameters that we don't want the position to move well you could but obviously there's so much you can play around because then you can have scale all sorts but we only want the rotation for this case and we can just put random numbers in here so I mean I just put 90 and I could put 45 and then maybe minus 25 and as you can see, it just gives it a completely random rotation. And this could be used for maybe backgrounds. Maybe you not do it as that harsh as that. So it's smaller numbers and you could have some really nice rotation because otherwise you'd have to make your text editable and then rotate the individual letters, which can be very time consuming. But so we want to now animate this to come in. And if you go into your effector, you actually see that there's a strength. And if I was to move this up and down, you can see that it then at zero it's just how it was before but if it's a hundred it's random so if we go to say zero we can keyframe the strength by pressing control or command if you're on a Mac the strength button here or you can just right click and then go animation add keyframe and if we go to maybe 30 frames so that'll be a second if you're working in uh, 30 frames per second uh, we can then just make it zero and then again control click and now you can see that it goes from random to normal and then we can also click on our text there we can press the keyframe button down here and then so it stays there and if we go to the frame one and we can click on this little top view uh, this little panel and this will give us all the different views so we've got top front uh, front and then the right view and then we can just push our text back like this until you can't see it so it's out of the screen and we just hit the keyframe button again so now if we just open up our front view again our, our active camera view and now if we look as you can see these letters all then come together which looks really nice and if you add say some motion blur you could also you could do that in Cinema 4D I've never really looked at it before actually but I believe there's yeah here you go so you've got scene motion blur and you can add that or you could uh, just go into After Effects after you've rendered it all out and add some real smart motion blur, for example. But that is basically what I did. And now I'm going to show you another quite cool technique that I've uh, thought of and I found out. So I'm just going to delete these uh, keyframes and I will delete the effector. And I need to move my text forward again. Just move that into the screen like that. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go MoGraph, Effect, and then Shader. Now this can be used for quite 
quite a lot of things actually. But I'm just going to go to the parameters. At the moment it's on scale, but I want position. So I'm going to click the position and I'm just going to make, uh, say, the white, because I want it to be below so you can't actually see it, but you could also have it up high. So I'm going to make this minus 500. So now it's off the screen. So as you can see, if I zoomed out, it's there. So now it's off the screen. I'm going then going to go to effect. Uh, bear with me. I've forgotten where it is. Um, hold up. Oh, sorry. Fall off. Fall off. That's it. I knew it was something like that. And we're just going to change the shape to a box. So now we get this box. And we're just going to want to scale this up so it fits the whole of our text and then also so it is the length of our text and we can also move it like that we can go to top view and we can also move it like that and now we have this box and I think my text is still showing a bit so I'm just going to go back to the parameters I'm gonna make this maybe minus 650 so now it's out of the screen but now if you look as you move this box you can see that the letters start to rise up like that. So what we can do is we can keyframe it so it's there. At so we go to zero, we keyframe our shader by pressing the keyframe button. And we can go forward to 30 frames, and then we can just move this all the way across. And when everything's in the right position, we can then keyframe that. And now the letters just come up like that. So if you wanted to do it, maybe for the letters to come down, you can just take out the minus so they're above the box instead of below and now this doesn't look it looks alright yeah but we can add now we can click on our mo text again make sure your mo text is selected we can go to mo graft effector and delay effector now this is quite it's quite a cool effect actually but we can then go to the effector and instead of, instead of uh, blend we can change this to spring and you can play around the strength, but I'll leave it at 50 for now. And now if we look, you can see they bounce, they sort of bounce. So I was to play this, you see that? So they bounce up. And I think that looks pretty good. And that is basically it. So that's just a basic animating, uh, like bringing text in and animating text in Cinema 4D. Now, if you want a tutorial on maybe lighting setups and making some really nice glossy text, then leave a comment of what you would like to see. And as always, if you ever see some an effect that you like or you and you don't know how to do, just send it to me and I can see if about making the tutorial or maybe trying to work it out and try and replicate it. Replicate it. So that is all, guys. Uh, that was just a quick tutorial on Cinema 4D animating for text. And again, if you want a lighting setup, just comment. But that's all. So yeah, see you later, guys. See you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.